Alrighty guys, I'm here at my here at my storage unit. Figure I give y'all an idea of what it looks like. Uh, Brian, I was talking to you, texting yesterday. I want you to actually come see this. Um, but here's what I have so far. Because uh, I also put my trailer in here. That's why all of this is open. Uh, but yeah, um, how I have it organized right now. Uh, hand tools. Uh, my head trimmer is down there. My backup weed eater. The SRM 230. Um, I picked this little guy up yesterday. Today, uh, picked that little guy up today. Um, I'm gonna stop using the True Fuel stuff because I just realized how expensive it is. <laughs> um, so I'll be using that. Uh, that's for oil, uh, like spent oil and all that. You actually get a drain pan, but that works just fine. Uh, backup gas can. Uh, under here, if y'all can see it, I have my cones and my brute trash can. Uh, this is the heavier, heavier duty one, so I'll use it on like you know cleanups and all that. But you'll see what I have for everyday use. Um, my friend uh, was going to start a lawn care business, and he got a trimmer and a, a blower that are both electric powered. Uh, but he he isn't going to do it, so he gave it to me. That was uh, about two years ago. So I have that. Um, tarp. Just uh, one of one of two tarps I have. I don't know where the other one is right now, but uh, I'll find it. <laughs> um, another gas can I have. I need to put this one with the other ones. Nope, 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 nope. I love how I move one thing and it all goes to he heck. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, my gas cans. Uh, I have so many of them. I actually had a bunch of them I threw out because they were just no good. Uh, chainsaw. Um, little Hummer Light 14 inch bar chainsaw. Uh, six cubic foot. Uh, little girl. That thing has made me so much money. I mean, it cost me $100, but this is a flat free tire, so I'll never have to worry about it. As you see, it, it could be stabbed many times and, you know, not going to, it just run right over it. Uh, my spreaders. In here is where I'm going to put all my attachments and stuff. I have my ascension cords in there right now. But uh, I have that little thing, which sucks. I, I hardly ever use it. And I have, that's my ore. <laughs> And I have uh, the pole saw attachment and the uh, tiller attachment for it right now. But pretty soon I hope to upgrade to like a steel combi system. I want to try out a steel product. That's why I want to get steel. Um, and there I have my little boat and the oar. Well, the oar popped out. But yeah, the oar. And my waders. Uh, that's for when I go out and clean, the lot, clean out the lakes. Um, little side discharge thing for the Toro because... It's actually a true mulching mower, um, but yeah, I just have that. That was given to me, so whatever. That was given, to, yeah. But, but the guy that gave me the mower also gave me that. So uh, this is my toolbox. I have everything maintenance-wise right here. Underneath that box, I have my uh, have some bungee cords and all that. That pump goes with the boat weed killer. Uh, just some spare parts. Um, more spare parts. If he sees his video, he's probably gonna kill me. But, uh, bro, I can. I'm not gonna say his name over here. But, bro, trust me. This place, you know, it's it's enclosed. You know, no rain, no dirt, no nothing's gonna come in there. So don't worry about it. Um, just some fishing gear and rope and stuff. My grease gun. Uh, more spare parts. A uh, little guard for the Shindao before I put the Edge Pro on it. Uh, in here, have my grass seeds and fertilizers. Um, my big green booger, y'all know that very, very well. Um, my 19 inch, uh, I'm not 19 inch, <clears throat> a 42 inch 2014 model, uh, yeah, or 13 model, I'm not sure. 19 horsepower jaw here. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, D110 riding mower has 171 hours on it. 
Uh, this is going to be my, my backup mower and my bagging mower. So during the fall, this thing will see a lot of action. Because I eventually I want to get a tow-behind aerator. And I'll probably put it right there. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, so I bought this unit. Well, I didn't buy it. But you know, I rented this unit thinking that it was like huge. And it is. But this is all I can fit in it. Um, when I, if I, if and when I get a zero turn mower, uh, if and when I get a Z mower, I will probably have to, hang on guys, I'm sorry. Those stupid cones. If and when I get a Z mower, uh, I'm probably going to have to just take the trailer home every night. I want to keep this unit for a while because you know it's an investment. Uh, but yeah, the trailer is going to fit perfectly right here. Um, probably even have a little bit of room to spare. Uh, but eventually, I plan to. I'll eventually, I plan to actually have two of these units. Hopefully, side by side if I can work it out. But uh, if, I, if it's not side by side, I'm not going to, you know, you know, complain. I'll probably get like a five by ten unit next. And that will be for like all like the smaller stuff. Um, and then I'll have this one for the mowers and the trailer. Uh, and trust me, I will get a better trailer eventually. <laughs> um, so yeah, so today guys, um, I've been fumbling. If you guys see my other videos, you know, I have, I used to have weed eater string holding this in because uh, I lost a lock to it uh, going down the road one day. So it's been held in together with weed eater string. It worked just fine. But uh, I needed to up my game a little bit. So I bought one of those things and um, like one of these things. So something metal so it's not going to want to come out. Uh, but yeah, my 5x8 trailer, this is my, this is my new, it's going to be my new everyday setup. Uh, just because I had an extra bungee cord, an extra trash can. This is my, this is going to be my everyday trash can. Um, had like a lot of mulching crap in there. I just put it in here so you all see works out nice um the pro line is going to be right here and then on days where i use the push mower it will be right here but uh this thing in my area can get into like 99 percent of the gates so uh i may just um you know use this mower until i save up enough to get a 30 inch and then that'll be my push mower um ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. um yeah uh and then in here, still have the Shindawa with the Edge of Pro. Weep. My blower. And I'm going to start keeping a bungee cord in here for it now. Keeps it all nice and secure rather than fumbling all over my bed. Because that's been an issue I've been having. And, you know, I, and th you know th that eventually will wear down the equipment. So, um, yeah, boys. Uh, this is my, this is going to be my everyday setup. Um... I'm happy. I can't wait to see how efficient I am with it. Uh, I saw the video recently for Johnny Mo, uh, high efficiency mowing, and uh, I saw another video today where a guy had a 52 inch turf tracer, and then a 36 inch turf tracer. You know, and not that big, not that big of a trailer. Probably about a, a six by six by twelve, six by ten trailer, and uh, I kind of want to copy his setup because I mean it's just it's so efficient. Uh, only difference is he only has a one trimmer rack. I want to have a three trimmer rack because I want to carry more than just my Edget Pro trimmer. Um, especially during the um, beginning of the season months. You know, I want to be able to put uh, an, an edger. I actually want to get a stick edger and put it uh, on top. And then I'll probably put the combi system on the bottom and keep the Edget Pro in the middle. Um... And then he also had a BR600 rack right here. I like that idea. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a BR600 or not. Probably I might. Just because, you know, I already have a handheld blower. So why not get the biggest thing on the market? Uh, but I probably won't end up getting a BR600. I'll probably get, get like an Echo 770 because that's on sale right now in my area. And then um, I'm probably going to get... Um, another like board and put it like right here 
and then have this pl have it plywooded all the way down and uh, I'm gonna put like like little hooks for uh, tools and stuff unless I just want to throw it in the back uh, still still pretty efficient all I gotta do is open up my truck bed and pluck, there it is so yeah um just thought I'd show y'all a little update about what's going on. Um, oh yeah, something else. Um, even I'm gonna probably buy some magnets for my for my business here soon for my truck. Um, or I might put Sunkiss Lawn Service up there uh, with my number. Not 100% sure which way I want to go yet. Um, if I do it that way, it's gonna cost me like 10 bucks. But I mean, it's so small print and. I have to get it 100% perfect, and it's just it's just not worth it. So I might spend you know $40 on magnets, and then uh, what I do for my tailgate is I want to have a magnet on my tailgate. I'm gonna get a piece of uh, ductwork. Um, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a it's really really like light gauge aluminum stuff, and uh, I'm gonna create a little square as big as a magnet, and. Um, I'm actually gonna probably I'm gonna get I'll tell you guys this in a minute, and uh, put uh, put a little square, and then uh, have like kind of like what Spencer Spencer um, Sp Sean Spencer did for his trailer, he uh, had like these like these like little bolts with spacers, uh, four of them that way it's all nice and straight and smooth, and then plop the uh, magnets on it, and then I'm thinking about getting some seasonal magnets, um, so like you know. During the winter, during the summer months, you know, uh, spring, uh, yeah, spring, spring through summer, I'll have a, uh, you know, just a Sunkiss lawn service, complete lawn service, and then my number. And then for like, you know, fall into winter, I'll have one, that's a Sunkiss lawn service, aerating, seeding, hedge trimming, uh, aerating, seeding, hedge trimming, and leaf and debris removal. Because they're all huge services in my area. Uh, so I might get some ones like that. And uh, so I'm probably going to spend a little bit of money on magnets. But hopefully, you know, it gets me a couple customers and pays for itself. All right, guys. I'll give you one last look at the shed as I close it. Turn off the light here. Um, yeah, one last look. Um, I was going to put the trailer in here, but since I'm going to go out kind of early in the morning and mow, I figure, um, I figure I'll just bring the trailer with me home. And actually, uh, I'm not going to close it yet. I have to, uh, grease the rest of my mower. So yeah, guys, enjoy your, enjoy your night. If it's, uh, hot and rainy in your area, humid as well, make sure you stay hydrated, stay cool when you're out mowing and uh, go make that money guys later